trading losses for companies please note one thing that this topic is similar like individual trading loss but it's bit easier in individual trading loss we have a lots and lots of things the first one was basis period was applicable when we calculate loss for individual but for the companies there is no basis period at all companies don't have tax year they are taxable as per their ttp and ttp based on their accounting year accounting period and 19% is fixed so there is no basis period for companies individuals we have ongoing we have opening year we have last year so that's why in individual trading losses we took a lot of time to complete the topic and i already forward you the videos as well and we had the classes so individual trading loss is quite tricky because of the involvement of basis period because of the involvement of basis period but for the companies trading loss is bit easier because there is no there is no basis period rules there are no basis period rules for the company so first of all how the loss will arise so you have a small question car loss can you read this one please car loss limited has the following is that for its year ended 31st August 2020. Capital allowance for the year amount to 21,000 pounds. Should we uh, calculate the tax adjusted trading loss for the year ended 31st August 2020? Okay, so net profit is 13,000. For the companies, it's known as profit before tax. Depreciation allowed or not allowed? Depreciation is not allowed expense. So what we are going to do? We are going to add it back, right? So it's coming how much? 18,000. And any other thing? Yes, capital allowance. How much capital allowance? 21,000. 21,000. So the answer is coming in minus. It's called It's a loss. Trading loss. This is the way the trading loss will arise for the company. Similar like the individual and now if you see the b part the difference is they are saying that assume that they don't have thirteen thousand profit they incurred a loss of ten thousand at the beginning can it a loss incurred by the company there is no profit assume it has a loss of ten thousand what will going to happen so see we have depreciation which is not allowed going to add it back so the answer will come in negative answer will come minus 5000 and capital allowance is 21 means my loss is going to increase capital allowance can create a loss and capital allowance is the only thing which can increase the loss and which can create the loss it's creating loss in a part and it's increasing the loss in b part same thing the similar type of question we already did when we were doing the individual. So the arising of loss for both cases, for individual and companies are the same. Any problem? No problem. Uh, note it down, please. Once done, let me know. The, if the loss arises for the company, if the loss arise for the company, the first way to claim it, is carry forward the first way or first method to claim the loss relief for the companies is also similar like individual that you are allowed to carry forward your loss you have a question called popeye limited limited is reflecting that this is a company's question not an individual question 
please read the question Copy Limited has a current year tax adjusted trading loss of 35,000 pounds for the year ended 31st October 2020. Company's projected tax adjusted trading profits are as follows. Year ended 31st October 2021, 14,000. Year ended 31st October 2022, 6,500. Year ended 31st October 2023, 15,600. Copy Limited also has property income of £5,000 each year. Calculate Copy uh, Limited taxable total profit for four years ended 31st October 2023. Assuming the loss for the year ended 31st October 2020 is carried forward and claim is made to relive as much as a loss as possible in each of the future periods. Okay. So what they are saying, they are saying that bhai, we have a Popeye Limited, uh, this is a company and the company incurred a loss. Now, first of all, must remember that, that for the company's case, there is no basis period. There is no basis period. So it will be a bit easier. Now, first thing must remember, this is the company. So there is no basis period at all. So year end will be our final one, 2001, 2002, oh, sorry, 2021, 2022, 2023. And the loss arises in which year? 2020, right? Yes. Now, First of all, the carry forward loss relief. This relief can be carried forward in future. Just I am trying to remind you the individual case. In the individual, it can be adjusted from trading income. Remember? Not from total income. This was the case in the individual. That in individual, when we carry forward the loss, it was only carry forward from trading income. But now we are not doing or we are not dealing with individuals. We are dealing with companies. So for the companies, it's a bit different. The difference is it will be adjusted from total income, not from trading income. This is the thing students can miss it and they lose the easy marks. Thing is same, working will be same. That loss will be carry forward to the next year, to the next year, next, 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 next. But if it is applies in individual, it will be carry forward from trading income only. But if it is applicable in the companies, it will be applies from total income only. Got my point? Loss will be denoted as zero. So I wrote it zero as a loss. Then incomes are there. Here you go. If it is individual, we I will carry it forward from here, from here, trading income. But it's not a case of individual. It's Popeye limited. Means I will add if we have other incomes. Like you can see, property income each year, 5,000. So I'm going to add it in all the years. And I have, this is TTP formats, no? So if I have all the incomes, it will be total profit. For in companies, it's not total income. It will be total profit. 5,000, 19,000, 11,500, and 20,600. From the total, I will adjust loss relief. And this is known as carry forward. Carry forward from the previous year means brought forward to the next year. Loss arises here, no? This year, is, this is the year of loss. So the next year is this one. How much is your loss? 35,000. Do you remember the loss memorandum? 35 was the loss. I am going to use in 
31st October 2021. How much I can use? 19? 19,000. How much left over? Uh, 16,000. So the next year 11,000 will also be surrendered. Means gone. How much left over for the next one? 4,500. Very good. 2,000? 4,000 4, and to be carry forward to 2023 is 0. So, here's this one. And after the loss adjustment, we will have the TTP. TTP, 0, 0 and 16,100. So, the carry forward relief for the company is done. What is the difference between the carry forward loss relief in individual and company is mentioned. For individual, it applies only from trading income. And for the companies, it's applicable from total profits, which is adding up all the incomes. Any question in the carry forward loss relief is done, completed. After doing this carry forward relief, we have the second relief available for companies is the current year loss relief. Current year loss relief means you can claim the loss from the current year. Any current year means in the year of loss. For the shortcut, please remember this, that companies' losses can only be adjusted from total profits. Either it's a carry forward loss relief, it's current year loss relief, it will be terminal loss relief, whatsoever, whatsoever. If the companies is there, loss incurred by a corporation, simple, the relief will be applies from total profit, which is before, which is you can say before TTP, simple. Now the current year loss relief will work that for the whole year of loss and we will apply it. You have a question called SAG limited at your screen. I need you to read it please. SAG limited has the following results for the year ended in 1st March 2021. Tax adjusted trading loss 40,000. Property income 10,000. Chartable gain 50,000. Qualifying charitable donations 10,000. Show how the trading loss could be relieved with a current year trading loss. Okay, requirement A only. Requirement A only we are going to discuss first. So the requirement A is show how the trading loss can be claimed within a current year claim situation. This is only one year data, right? So year ended 31st March 21. We have trading profit zero because loss we are not writing. Loss we are writing in loss memorandum. Loss arises in 31st March 21, which is 40,000. Correct? Now, I will add all the incomes because I need total income or total profits. Chargeable gain is 50,000. And I do have QCD. What I have? QCD. The total will be 60,000. This is known as total profit. Now, less current year claim. Yani current year loss relief. Am I right? How much is your loss? How much is your loss? Trading losses are 40,000. So is it possible to apply it in this one? From the 60,000 you can adjust it? Yes, we can. And then we will have QCD in this question. This is companies, no? So after QCD we will have TTP. This is the answer. Simple. Yani, we can claim corporation tax loss relief 
from the current year of loss from the current year of loss this is allowed this is allowed this is the part a what is the part b can you read the part b So how your answer to A would be different if the tax adjusted trading amounts was sixty thousand dollars. Okay, this is A part. No done. B part is saying that assume that you have a trading loss of how much? Two thousand. Sixty thousand. So my income is sixty. So how much I can adjust? Sixty zero. What will happen to QCD? QCD is the reducer of TTP, right? QCD is the reducer of TTP. And because of the donations, my taxable total profit reduced means ultimately my tax is going to save because of donations. My tax is saved. Donations. Why we are giving donations? And the perspective of tax to save the tax. But here you pay ten thousand QCD, but because of the loss relief, do you have any income left? No, we don't have any income left. So the purpose, as per the tax, as per the tax rules, the purpose of donation is to reduce your incomes. Reduce the incomes means reduce the tax. But here, because you apply for the current year loss relief. Your total profit was sixty, and because of the loss of sixty, it became zero. Means no faida, no benefit you got of doing donations of doing QCD. Means the benefit of QCD is wasted. Got my point? Sorry. That's called current year loss relief. Note it down and let me. the third option available for companies to claim the losses is known as carry back relief as we saw till now the topic is very easy if you have hands on with the individual trading loss this one is very very easy but now the tricky part is coming up this tricky part is known as carry back relief carry back relief means Company can carry back its loss for next for the previous twelve months. Carry it back means how many months you can carry it back? Twelve months. How many months? Twelve months. Twelve months. How to do this one? Now we are going to learn. There is a question called merge or am. You can see the question, please. Please read out the question. Marjoram Limited has the following winners: Year ended thirty first March twenty nineteen, twenty twenty, and twenty twenty two. Calculate the taxable total profits for all periods affected, assuming that loss relief is taken as soon as possible. Okay. Now, the simple thing is, we will apply this relief as well for the companies. It's current. And carry it back for the companies. We already make a rule of thumb that every relief will applies from total profit. So same thing will apply here. You have a loss in twenty twenty one. The easiest part of companies there is no basis period at all, and these all are year ended thirty first March. I have trading profits. I am writing it eleven uh, thousand. Nine thousand and loss is we are going to put the loss in the memorandum section, right? Loss arises twenty twenty one. How much is the loss? Is forty five thousand. Now, other incomes just add it. Interest income is this one. Uh, chargeable gain because company losses can only be adjusted from total. QCD no QCD will be the last one before after the loss adjustment QCD will comes right so we have 
total profit. Now loss relief. We are learning current year and carry back. Current year means year of loss. Which is the year of loss? Which is the year of loss? 2021. How much you can adjust here? 4,500. How much loss left over? 40,500. The maximum carried back, how many months you can go back? The maximum carried back in normal situation is 12 months. How many months? 12 months. How much I can adjust? 9,500. I cannot adjust anything from more than 12 months. I can come till here only because the limit is 12 months max. Carried back limit is maximum 12 months. Then I have the answer. And then QCD, QCD is given. 250, this one, and TTP will come. Uh, 11250. And here, no FIDA, no benefit of doing the donation as per the tax. So West West and I am writing here use in 2020 9,500. The leftover loss is 31,000. What I will do with this 31? I can go more back? No. This will be to be carried forward to 2022. I can carry it forward. Yani same thing like individuals apply current year loss relief, current year, then go 12 months back and whatever left over, just carry it forward. But the difference between carry forward relief in individual and companies is in individual carry forward relief apply from trading income only. But in the companies, the carry forward relief also applies from total profit. And that's it for current and carried back loss relief any questions please you can ask or note it down